Hey guys, it's me, Klaus. Solo, actually. Before we get into the meat of the actual video itself, there's something I need to address. First of which, it comes to this comment here. Pay attention to what Rodney1279 has written here in this comment, which the original video has been taken down, unfortunately. I'm still pretty pissed about that, actually. And here is why. Okay, so... Starting off, I have no issue with any of this. Well, except for one thing, but we'll get into that in due time. Okay, so Ronnie here says that the um ass the asshole who false flagged his videos, which is which is Michael's Paradise, which is entirely what this mess is going to be too. He uh, Ronnie himself has said that um, Michael's Paradise wants to make up with him, which is all cool. Which is really great. This guy wants to try to make up with you. But, here's where the red flag has been risen. He has also made a threat to slap a community guideline strike. There is the problem. Right there. In front of your face. Michael's Paradise. You cannot say... That you want to make up with someone and then turn around and threaten to community guideline strike someone else's channel if you truly want to make up with someone. That is pure, fun, just unpurified bullshit. That really is. And here's something that really, really angers me. Like, it p pisses me off. That shitheads like you can get your way through means of a, um, threat. See, I'm not talking. Okay, anyway, anyway, back on point. It pisses me off that you can, you, you, can, you think you can get what you want by means of a threat. Say, for example, example my girlfriend's channel, my Vanguard 93. The one where you threaten to slap a community guy strike on. This pisses me off, because this... I don't care what anyone says. This will inevitably make her an easy target. Especially for you, Michael's Paradise, because you've gotten her to take down a video by threatening a community guideline strike. Say you find another video that you disagree with. You can say, anyone can simply slap a threat and just, boop, it's gone. No, you need to, no, anyone who is threatened by this asshole, tell him to fuck off and say no. This is stupid. You are essentially caving to bullies. Yes, you are caving to bullies. Because that's where the fuck this guy is. You say you want to make up with Rodney, but then again, you go off to make a threat to silence that video. Which is on point, by the way. Call you out on your bullshit. That's not harassment. That is typical social justice lingo. Are you an SAW, Michael's Paradise? Because I'm pretty fucking convinced that you are. Unless you can prove me otherwise. Yeah, you seem social justice-ish. Someone comes out with... A dissenting viewpoint. Someone criticizes your ideas. Someone calls you out on your bullshit. You label that harassment. That is just stupid. Beyond belief. And the fact that you had your YouTube channel taken down. And yes, Michael's Paradise had his channel taken down. The fact that you had your channel taken down. And your Twitter suspended. Should have been... The eye opener to what the fuck you're doing. And b before that, you displayed heavy fucking hypocrisy by having a ton of profanity on your Twitter and on your YouTube videos, which is going against your own rule, essentially making you a hypocrite. That it really did. <laughs> you are nothing more but a grade A hypocrite. And I'm glad your channel's been taken down. And you can come to my channel and threaten me all the fuck you want, Michael's Paradise, but the fact of the matter is, 
no amount of threats you can send will get me to take this down. I fucking guarantee that. I'm sure as shit I'm not Mara Van Gogh and Reed's I'm not trying to down to her, but I'm just saying. She taken down her video because of a threat. Threaten me all the fuck you want. I'm not taking down this video. For any reason whatsoever. <laughs> uh, uh, this has gone from a short pre-video message to a full-on rant. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the actual message video. I'm sorry, I decided to get all this, all this shit off my chest. Enjoy the message video, guys. And I'm sorry this took so long. Actually, the pre-rent pre is not quite over yet. Um, while well, talking on the, on Skype, and I brought this pre-rant to uh, my friend Cody here. Hey guys, what's up? And uh, this imaging freak is not happy. Yeah, I, I brought the pre-rant to his attention, and he wanted to give his two cents on the situation. Go ahead. You bet I do. Uh, where should we start? We're going to okay. We're going to start with, um, honestly, what I should have mentioned in both the message video and the pre-rant. Okay. The, and it's the fact that Michael's Paradise had, had actually went after Cody's original channel. Yeah, because I started a new channel and he's not welcome back here anymore. Yeah. Why did you do it? Why did you do it, Mikey? First you fall... First you false flag Rodney's videos, and now you went after me? Not cool, dude. Not cool. Not to mention that uh, the entire premise of my pre-rant was going after the fact that he made a threat to put a community guideline strike on um, Sam's channel, essentially making him a bully. And how dare he? Yeah, I can Okay, I said this over and over, and I'm pretty pissed off that people are just so easily willing to cave to bullies by, Oh, I'm gonna do this if you don't take this video down. Caving to Ex threats is not a solution. That is not a smart Ex move. It paints you as an easy target. Easy target, my butt. No, like, it, it, it really does. Like, th think, for example, um... Anita Sarkeesian, like, going to a press talk or something, I think it was a press talk, and, like, some idiot mm -hmm. posted a bomb threat, and based on that non-credible threat alone, she stepped down. She caved in to a threat. It's like, it's like with ISIS, too. Exactly. Like, no one knows, because, like, caving into a threat it is how easy, how easy of a target that paints you as. It it does pain you, that's for sure. Especially when you're, especially when you're targeted with bomb threats. Yeah, but let's get back on topic on uh, Michael's Paradise. Sure. So first he false flags Rodney's videos, and then he goes after me. What? Wait, what video did he false flag? Um, I don't know exactly what video he false flagged. I don't know. Because I couldn't see it. It was one of those vacation videos? On my, on my original channel, um, it was uh, vacation videos? Older vacation videos. And then he just flags them. For no apparent reason, I take it? For no odd reason! Michael's Paradise, this is why people have called you out. Hey, I'm calling him out now. This is why I've called you out, okay? This is why my girlfriend has called you out. This is why Rodney has mm -hmm. called you out. You know what? I'm gonna rant better than Rodney. This is your third strike, man. This is your third strike. He's gone beyond. It's like in baseball. It's like in baseball. Three strikes, he's, you're out. This is your third he's strike. He's gone beyond strike three for me. He's got like four whammies. Remember press your luck? You get four whammies, you're out yeah, of the game. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, this is like press your luck. Michael's Paradise. This is your fourth whammy. You're done. Out of here. Yeah, and you can, you can come to my channel and like 
threaten me all you want, or you can go through someone else's channel and threaten me all you want. This video is not going anywhere. You got that right! Like, if, if you think you can bully me into taking down the video, you're sadly fucking mistaken. Yeah, I don't care what you say. Hey, is there anything else you wanted to say? I don't think so. I mean, I've called him out. He's gonna be reported. He's he's out of here. Alright. Now that Cody has gotten his two cents in, this time, for real, on with the message. This message video is brought to you by the Master Ball and Ultra Ball Massive Collusion. Okay, after you watch Rodney's video on this person, this is something that we have to get it done. And this, well, there we got done. But yeah, this, this dude is a real douche. Exactly. And this message video that we're going to do on this person is Michael's Paradise. <laughs> Michael's paradise. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, reason why for this because he was doing something that is very unforgivable towards Ronnie by flagging his videos for no reason. And false flagging is already a serious problem here on YouTube. I mean, it's not just Big time fucking corporations just false flagging. Like, say a, a company false flags a video reviewing their video game, they say something negative or they don't like the game, they false flag and take it down. Like, a social justice warrior comes around and, oh, I, I don't agree with what you say, you're copyright infringement, take that shit down! False flagging has been a serious problem since Google took over this automated fucking system. Exactly. And my main issue with Michael is he's also being very butthurted because people just criticize him and and people are just calling him out on it. You just go ahead and rage like a little kid. And guess how old is this dude? He's 29 years old. Okay. You know what I said what I said about like social justice warriors going kind of like, hey, I disagree with that, take it down. I'm convinced this dude is a social justice warrior. Michael, all I have to say to you is grow the fuck up. You are twenty nine years old. You are six years older than me. And you acting like a little kid just <clears throat> I didn't get something what you wanted, or you don't want to get your diaper changed. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry if I'm still in a joke from, like, Matthew's videos, but I bet he's the type of guy who likes to have sex with Thor the Explorer. <laughs> That's Kyle, by the way. Oh, Kyle, sorry. I confuse channels. Another issue I have with Michael... Because we watched his rec after we watched his recent video, which is very butt hurted, and he's also being a, a real hypocrite right here, just by um, especially when he just puts a channel rule on this channel by saying no profanity here, and yet he swears it on his video, or even on his tweets on his Twitter. You have a rule on profanity, yet you use profanity all the fucking time. Like in your latest video, you use profanity. And your Twitter is flooded with profanity. Put down the poison Kool-Aid and just reevaluate your life. Because you label anyone who calls you out as harassers. Like, oh, stop harassing me. Like, Twitter, you see how people are harassing me? I know I'm being harassed. Put down the fucking Kool-Aid. And reevaluate your life. 
I totally agree there, Klaus. Michael, just stop. If you're gonna, if you watching this, and if you want to go ahead and report this message video, go right ahead. Oh, if you only realize the irony in what you just said there. Seriously. Like, I, I would love to see you try to take this video down. Go ahead. I, I know you social justice types. Like, you take down any video you disagree with. Just take down that shitty video of you. Just because a lot of people will call you out on it. And, like, doing that, you're just going to make things worse for yourself. You're just going to garner more hate. And people will continue to troll you if you're, if you're continuing to act immature in the internet. And have you not heard the saying, don't feed the trolls? Especially when you put it on his channel rules, on his channel rules as well. Because people are going to come... Giving after you, and that is the problem with you. And seriously, though, Michael, yeah. just just have a. I have a little advice for you. If you don't want to take any criticism, or just don't want to accept that you had an error of your ways here towards Ronnie and other innocent users, then one suggestion for you. Get the fuck off the internet until you mature. Until you act more mature. Oh wait, I don't think he doesn't want to change. He'll never learn, so he'll continue just doing the same bullshit again. Oh, and I have something to say to you as well. Having a rule against trolls on your channel or trollish comments is really fucking dumb. Okay? People see that. They're gonna troll you without a shadow of a fucking doubt. Michael, I'm just going to put this straight in front of your face. Trolls are not going to care. They're going to continue to piss you off. And they do it to get a rise out of you. They want you to react. That is, your, that is their victory condition. You fighting back. The only winning move is not to play. Oh yeah, here's one thing ab about it. On Ronnie's rant video, according to what Ronnie said, <clears throat> Michael did a like a private video, just make an apology video, but it is that apology is bullshit. False flagging someone's video is not something you can simply apologize for. Seriously, you just continue to. You're continuing to do that, you know, to false flag somebody's videos again. Not only in my eyes, false flagging is an unforgivable act, but if you're truly sincere about it, don't repeatedly do it. It's like, for example, say you punch someone and you say sorry for it. And you punch someone th three additional times after your apology. You don't mean it. That's not a real apology. You're not sorry for it. It's just, oh, I'm sorry I got caught. I'm sorry you didn't like it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But just bloody fucking ridiculous. Oh, and Rodney, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry that happened to you. I think you're, yeah. um, I think you're, you're a cool person. I really enjoy your videos. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to deal with this asshole. Yeah. Well, this, that's pretty much all I had to say in this message video. Yeah, I do have one last thing to say. Go right ahead, hon. Hey. I, I'm, I'm sorry you had to deal with this, what I think is a social justice warrior. Like, I legitimately think that. If anyone disagrees with what I would say, please, jot it down in the comments down below. And explain how I'm wrong. It will be embraced with open arms, I promise you. Well, so we, that's, that's all we have to say for now. This is Mario Pangirl 93. And class.
and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.